Hey everybody, Brad Chapel here. Justin, guys, we just made it here to the Bobby Garland plant. We've got a very special treat for you today. Awesome treat. We're gonna go through the complete process of how a Bobby Garland jig is made. All the way from the plastic, to the color, to them packaging them, to the picking of them, to boxing them, to shipping them out. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a really neat deal. What's up guys, Justin Berry here, Brad Chapel, and we got our man, our new friend, Eric, here at Barbie Girl and Warehouse, and he's gonna, we're gonna show y'all the steps running from A to Z, liquid, plastic, you call it. He's gonna be our man today. He's gonna show us how it's made, right? Yes, sir. Eric, how long have you been working here? About a year and a half. A year and a half? Yes, sir. So you know what you're doing, right? Right. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and start it off. Well, first thing I do, uh, I have a list of formulas over here. I already know the formulas by heart, or some of them by heart. What's so, your favorite color? Uh, probably this, almost this one, Monkey Milk. Monkey, monkey Milk? But That's this one's favorite. Monkey Milk Glow, so it's got a little bit of glow powder to it. So, gotcha. I'll just have to uh, calculate. I'm just gonna put a gallon in, so just gotta calculate how much that's gonna be. So, usually for five gallons, that's the, uh, that's the base, really, as far as, uh, how much we usually put in the tank? That's a regular old five gallons. So five gallons of liquid is what you pump into the right to the okay machine. All right. And so I'm gonna make this one for just one gallon. Uh, the side light blue. And it's just this powder. I mean, there's always a blue tea for that. <laughs> <laughs> and since so, this is gonna be for one gallon, I just have to calculate. You know, do the math. And you know all that in your head now, right? Yeah, I know the formula. Sometimes I have to do the math. So it's not like cooking when you know a recipe in the back of your head. You're just not over here whipping it up, are you? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. It just depends on what the actual color is. I got you. Now what he's making, he's making uh, monkey milk baby shad to start. So here we go. Glow. 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 <laughs> so you got to make sure it just, the scale is up at, at zero. Man, you overdid it, didn't you? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> So as long as it's over a few, yeah. a few grand, it's okay. So that's the blue tint to the right. monkey milk, right? Right. All right. So, so I'm just gonna pour it in here. This is a uh, 015 Lower Black. Huh. So now you know what all the glitter looks like. Now can you touch that or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Now this is what, this is all the glitter that y'all see in the bait right there. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, put a little bit, a little bit of the scoop. Put it right down in there. I'm gonna add the plastic to it. Uh, these are the containers right here. Yes, sir. So what I have to do is gonna pump through. I'll now the pump. Use. Now the pump comes from off the trucks, right? The 55 gallon drum. Right. Right. So that's what y'all get off the truck. Right. Y'all bring it in here, and you just pump it right into this mixer right well, here. We pump right. it into the uh, containers over here because yeah. it mixes in the containers. So We're already is mixing right now. What's it mixing though with? Uh, just, just some propellers. We have some in here, but so, but it's all in liquid form, right? Right, it's all okay. in liquid form. I got you. And then uh, when it gets to the heaters, it's gonna cook on the heater, and then it's gonna come out. You know how it's supposed to come out on the bait. I got you. Okay. All right. So now he's gonna he's gonna uh, add the plastic to it. <laughs> and so I'm gonna put a gallon in, like a gas machine. <laughs> All I need to do is just add just a gallon. There we go. Turn that off. Then I'm ready to fill it up. So now you're just taking it to the machine, right? Right. Uh, so now he's taking it to the mold. So, just 
tube is going to feed into the machine. And all I have to do is just open, open this valve. Yeah. And right now it's in vacuum. And so what it's doing is it's going to suck the plastic through. So the machine's already got a vacuum to it. Right. Once you open up that valve, it's going to suck the plastic through. Correct. Right? Okay. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and get uh, a little bit of glow powder. Let me get the glow powder. That's the money maker. You like the glow jigs? Oh, I love it. You want to get the glow powder? Blow it up? Yeah. <laughs> you give them a number, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> the more, can you put more in that to make it glow more? Yeah, you can. can. Yeah. Okay, but so that's- throw the color off. So. And throw the color off. All right. So, okay. All right, go ahead, man. Go ahead. So the mix out? Yeah. And, that, and it mixes it for it. Right. Because they have this propeller yeah. inside. Yeah. Right now you can see it mixing. I can control the propeller uh, with the module right here. If I wanted to go slower, turn it down to the left. If I wanted to go spin it fast in there, turn it all the way to the right. Now look at it. Now it's going fast. There is to it. So right now it's in vacuum. Uh, when we put it in vacuum, that you know the propeller spins for so long, it naturally creates air. So what happens? We put it in vacuum to suck that air out. And this is the vacuum tube right here. And so when it's in vacuum, that also allows plastic uh, that's on the heater to drain out. So the first thing we have, this is how it's draining out when it's in vacuum. Just getting everything, a lot of the stuff that's on the heater off. And so what I do have to close, close my injectors. Yeah. Because I'm gonna put pressure back onto the uh, to the tank. And we want these valves closed because if, if these valves are open while there's pressure, Flash is just going to see you up. Right. I got you. So right now, I'm going to turn the vacuum off. And then I'm going to open my valve at the bottom. That helps mix it a little bit more. Now I'm going to put my pressure on. You can see it blows up. Yeah, that. Uh, this is about 27 and a half, 27 and a half. That's what pushes the 27 psi push the right. motor. Right. And it, it varies by mold. That's how much it's going to be for this one right now. All right. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm trying to mix some order down just a little bit. Turn the vacuum off, open up my bottom, let mix it up. Then put pressure towards the tank. Again, it's gonna build back up. So you're running you're you're running uh two pumps with two modes, right? Right. Okay. And how many how many bases does it put out on one push? Um, roughly. For this mold? Yeah. <sighs> About Let's say 42, I believe. 42? And it may not be too accurate. Okay. I'm not. I have to actually count out the base. Yeah. Let's see how many it is. But, come on. Got the other time. That means I can uh, Get up and go ahead and take this plastic out. And we use these. Uh, like the recycling, plastic, right? Right. We yeah. use it for regrind. The ones that come out at the vacuum, we really don't want to keep those because they got air on it, and that can affect the product. Because we use uh, regrind to help with the color, keep yeah. it keep it consistent. If it has air in it, and it can create air on the inside of the tank, and the product may come out with air on it. 
I got no You don't want, want that. that. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> don't want no air in the baits. So after I take it out of the vacuum, all I have to do is just bleed, bleed out the uh, plastic, get all the air out. That's about good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the plastic out. Make sure to get the plastic out because uh, this is what the injector is. If you leave the plastic in the injector without taking it off, not only with the plastic or with the plastic not fill the mold and you won't get any product, they can clog up the machine. We don't want that. That was the manual. I'm gonna switch it to auto. All that to do. Push these two triggers at the same time, and then the machine will go. Right here. What's that timer for? Uh, it's to let the uh, plastic uh, fill up the mold. Thanks. So yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't even have to be a mini. It's uh, with cause the accident. There we go. Should be sticking on this side now. So, so, so the pro so does it go back and forth? Well, it's supposed to be on the side with the water. Yeah. The first time I just forgot to put a wall on. I got you. I got you. Right. Then I'll just take it out. Drop it a little bit of wall to be balanced. So you push. Out. So so to get the uh, two tone colors, you push the melt the plastics together at the same time right. through the mold, right? Right. All right. Your job here is done with the process of the bait, right? Right. So you get them pulled off here. Once that gets loaded up, you push it up front, and you're done with that, right? Right. All right. Well, guys, you heard it here from Eric, my new friend here. Got slime juice <laughs> all over my hand. Don't matter. Anyway, Eric, I greatly appreciate it, man, showing the whole process. I hope y'all was able to hear back in the machinery, cut some fans off and everything. But man, it's been a it's been a blast watching everything. So oh, my pleasure. Yep. So look for it. Crappie Connection got Eric here at uh, BG Warehouse. We'll catch y'all later. Yeah, they're ready to go fishing.